In the 100th minute of the game against Nigeria, Italy's Benarivo was tripped in the air by Austin Aguavin, which led to a penalty. The man who stepped up, Roberto Baggio, Italy's seasoned penalty specialist, who until that day had endured an ordinary tournament. Baggio took a long run-up, starting a few inches outside the 18-yard line, slowing the stride as he approached. He wrapped his foot around the ball and struck it to the goalkeeper's right, his favorite side, goal! Baggio would use the same strategy 14 days later in Italian's penalty shootout in the World Cup final. This moment would be the perfect metaphor for the beginning of the end of Baggio's international footballing career. Despite suffering from a series of injuries, Baggio was called up to Arrigo Sacchi's Italian squad for the 1994 World Cup in the USA. Italy were drawn into Group E alongside with the Republic of Ireland, Norway, and Mexico. In their opening game against Ireland, the Azzurri conceded an early goal from which they never recovered. Baggio was single-handedly marked out by Irish defender Paul McGrath. In the second group game against Norway, things went from bad to worse when their goalkeeper, Gianluca Pagliuca, was sent off in the 22nd minute for a harsh tackle in the penalty box. It was a shocker! The Italian manager had to decide who to substitute. He chose Baggio, who was furious with his manager, calling the decision to take him off and the man who made the call crazy. Even though the manager faced some flack for benching his star player, it was overshadowed by the late winner from Baggio's namesake, Dino, who would spare both Italy and Sachi the blushes. Irrespective of the talk of rifts between Baggio and the Sachi, the Italian talisman was back in the starting 11 for the final group fixture against Mexico, a must-not-lose mission. Italy limped to a 1-1 draw with Mexico with Gianni Agnelli, then odor of Juventus, commenting that Baggio looks like a wet bunny, which pretty much summed up Baggio's performance to date. For the first time in World Cup history, all Group B teams finished with the same points, with goal difference used to determine who would advance to the knockout stages. In the round of 16 fixture against Nigeria, Emmanuel Emuniki gave the Super Eagles a 25th minute lead. The Italian bench was growing anxious as they continuously failed to create chances. Up until the 88th minute of this match, Baggio had suffered through a turbulent and forgettable World Cup. But with just two minutes left on the clock, Roberto Musi made a clever run and headed towards the goal. And as he was about to be challenged, Baggio waited unmarked on receiving the ball he struck it from 15 yards, placing it perfectly in the far corner of the goal. It was Baggio's moment of glory, as it was at this moment of the match that he officially announced himself at USA 94. Then in the 102nd minute, Baggio converted the penalty he created, putting Italy through to the quarterfinals. The quarterfinal against Spain seemed certain to head to extra time as both teams were all tied at 1-1, thanks to goals from Dino Baggio and Jose Luis Caminero. With less than five minutes left for the final whistle, two passes from Nicola Berti and Signori tore the Iberians apart. Signori flipped through for Roberto Baggio, who managed to take his team home by scoring the winning goal in the 88th minute as Italy advanced to the semifinals. But Baggio has saved his absolute best for the semifinal against Bulgaria. Italy were awarded a throw-in after 20 minutes. Donadoni found Baggio, who moved across the edge of the area, evading challenge after challenge, before curling a strike around the goalkeeper's left hand into the far corner. In five minutes, he made another darting run into the right side of the area, where he waited for a perfectly placed pass from Albertini and drove an instinctive shot right across Mihailov. The Italian number 10 had single-handedly taken Italy to the World Cup final. But the semi-final turned out to be a bittersweet one for Baggio, as he was forced off with a hamstring pull with 20 minutes remaining in the match. There was a big question mark of whether Baggio would be fit to play in the coveted final against Brazil. But Baggio was desperate to be on the field in the final. The six hours of travel did not help his recovery, especially with Saki asking him to kick a ball against the wall to see how severe his injury was. To everyone's delight, Baggio was named in the starting 11, playing with a strapping on his thigh. After 120 goalless minutes, the World Cup final was to be decided by a penalty shootout for the very first time.
Italian captain Baresi took the first penalty and blazed his penalty over the bar. Brazilian center back Marcio Santos was next, but Pauyuca saved the effort low to his right. Demetrio Albertini went next for Italy, scoring his penalty into the top corner. Romario was next for Brazil, placing it so far in the corner that it went off the post, tying the score at 1-1. One one. Alberigo Ivani went third for Italy. He scored, putting his penalty high and in the middle as Tafarel dove to the right. Branco went next for Brazil, and he scored in the bottom left corner. Massaro went next for Italy, but was unable to put the ball in Tafarel's net as the Brazilian keeper saved it to his left. Brazilian captain Dunga was next, and he comfortably placed a shot into the bottom left corner, making it game point. With Italy needing to score to keep their dreams alive, Baggio was set to take Italy's final penalty. Replicating the same technique he had used against Nigeria, Baggio struck the ball but failed to convert his chance as the ball flew over the crossbar, resulting in one of the most upsetting moments in World Cup history. I don't want to brag, but I've only ever missed a couple penalties in my career, and they were because the goalkeeper saved them, not because I shot wide. There is no easy explanation for what happened in Pasadena. When I went up to the spot, I was pretty lucid, as much as one can be in that kind of situation. I knew Tavarel always dived, so I decided to shoot for the middle, about halfway up, so he couldn't get it with his feet. It was an intelligent decision, because Tavarel did go to his left, and he would have never gotten to the shot I had planned. Unfortunately, I don't know how the ball went up 3 meters and flew over the crossbar, Baggio later said in an interview. In retrospect, Baggio's penalty miss faced an overreaction from the fan base and media as it was easier to point a finger at him since he was not your conventional footballer. His quiet demeanor stood out and was different from his teammates. Unlike his contemporaries, Baggio never existed outside of the pitch. He was neither interested in being a public figure nor a celebrity. The boy from Caldonio didn't fit in with the celebrity culture, even though he had all the skills. Moreover, it was a strong expectation the fans had of Baggio's excellent record of scoring from the spot, which led to his vilification the most. Post the World Cup, Baggio rarely played for Italy and didn't even make it to the Euro 96 squad. His injury-prone club career also stalled, hence his football trajectory went through a massive downfall. People associate USA 94 with Roberto Baggio's iconic image and his career, which was unfortunately defined by that penalty miss. While they conveniently forget that it was this man who single-handedly helped a mediocre team get to the final, Roberto Baggio was truly a victim of his own brilliance.